catharsis time. Yeah, this time we are totally, definitely getting to Mars. Totally, definitely getting to Mars. Probably. All right. Move this over here. And again, let's just go. What's up, Top Hit? How's it going? I've had a few good runs recently. Oh, all right. We're going. As you can see, I'm up to a seven loss streak. I'm trying to do no cannibalism runs. Maybe not good enough yet, but you know what? Whatever. I want to get to Mars without eating anybody. That's a thing. I hope it can be a thing. All right, let's see. What do we got for this first turn? Hmm. We're not going to die. I might want to fix that minus one dice to all. I might not want to, though. It would make going into the life support unit a bit pointless. Unless I bring everyone over there. Give them one more dice. It's uh, not that great, though. I think I'm going to... S Ugh, God damn it, we need dice. All right. Hey, Pinback! Welcome back. I think we've been missing each other on timing. But yeah, I'm trying to come back from a seven loss streak. Been trying to do no cannibalism runs. It's been going poorly. All right, let's start this off. I'm gonna bring everyone in here so that Actually, I think I'll bring her into here to try to fix this, because it'd be nice to not lose one dice every round. Yep, that's not happening. Uh, let's see, what are the chances? Eh, chances are decent. Let's go. Let's get some better numbers here. Yeah, that's what I want to see. Yep, this is fine. She'll fix this real quick. This will be excellent. We'll leave. The mechanic will join Alice and Jean in here. Let's see, do I want him to get regain dice? Let me think about what everyone's dice is gonna be at the end of this. Assuming I can roll at least a five with a Jean, he can give Alice and Picard one more dice, so they'll both be at two. And they can also give themselves two more dice. Assuming they roll really well. All right, I like that plan. I like that plan quite a bit. Hmm. I'll give it a four. I'll give it the shit plus one. <laughs> Thanks, Pinback. Yeah, it was... I don't know. I've been trying to figure out whether or not I, I had the right idea there. Maybe I just got really lucky. Maybe I did. I don't know. It's, I still think it's, it's a decent approach to the game, but I've been doing really bad lately. Like, stupid bad. Oh, oh. Oh, I don't want him to go first. Allison, you can go ahead and roll. Actually, it doesn't make any difference whether or not Allison goes first. No, yeah, it does. I do not want her. Come on, roll a four. Give me a four. Give me a four. That's not a four. But yeah, I feel like that that last run that you saw me go on, I didn't get a four, and that's that's fine. We can keep going with this research project. Was super, super duper oriented towards getting research projects, the exact research projects that I needed, which worked out really well somehow. I really don't know how. I might as well have him get some extra dice. <laughs> right? It worked out in a really weird way. That's... Oh, why wasn't that a six? Ugh. It was so close to a six. I was grabbing it. But I don't know. I want to I wanna believe, Pinback. I want to believe that there is some justice to that idea. I did pretty much the exact opposite of what I wanted to do here. All right, let's see, side project. We have plenty of ship. 
we only have one food. I'll probably give that food to Allison so that she can start getting more food in the <clears throat> in the food unit. So I think I'll go for even if I gave got some assists, I'd just waste them. I would just waste them, and that's not that great. So plus two health to all crew. <laughs> <laughs> 150 games is still damned impressive. Like, ugh, that's pretty good. What's your uh, win rate? Like, I know you don't have to say the lost number out loud, but just hearing the percent, be able to give a nice idea. I think I would just go for plus two health, minus two ship. Like, if I don't do great this these first two turns, eh, we're we're just screwed anyway. Allison gets it. Alright, this is doable. This is very doable. This is very doable. But yeah, rolling dice in this game actually feels kind of amazing. Like, oh, you just get on the edge of failure. Or a success, right? Right? I think I'm going to start sending... Okay, I'm gonna start with Jean in here. Hopefully he'll roll at least the five. He'll give the mechanic one more dice and give Allison one more dice. Increase all of her chances. That is exactly what I wanted. Most important thing right now are these dice. I don't care really about repairing this unit. Oh, that works though. Win rate of 55. Losses in the first 100 games. Yeah. Oh, it'll be interesting to see how long I keep this up. How long I can go. Because there's a lot. Okay, let me roll these research projects. I don't really need any of these. And I really like these research projects, so we'll keep them. I think I'll actually have him regain some dice. So, Pararis? Oh, you bought the game? Yeah, it's... It's cool, right? It's nice. How have you been doing so far? Any good run runnings, Rise? Oh, so am I saying your name right? Rises. Always like names with the Z's in them. Z's are fun. Alright going to have Allison. Actually, let's go ahead and have Allison roll up in here. Actually, no. Paul's going to roll in here. <laughs> no, no, Pinback. You're just, you're just preparing yourself to actually go on the Mars mission. Especially to not eat folk. Oh, this is... These are the rolls I want. Heck yeah. Heck yeah. Alright. We're out of danger. We are out of danger. Let's see if I can... Give me a four. Give me a four. Oh, that's not a four. But you know what? I can save this. I can save that. It's fine. Wait, you already got a no cannibal run win? Oh, I want it. I want that. I'm already on a loss. A seven loss streak. Good job, Ryan. I am... For not taking any damage four turns in a row. I don't know if I've gotten that achievement yet. I haven't looked too closely at the achievements that I've gotten. And they don't show up on... Uh, let's see. Yeah, I did get that. Risk management. Risk manage... Nope, I haven't gotten that. It's just showing me that I can get it. Oh, that'd be great. If I could not take damage four turns in a row, one day I'll be that good. I guess I keep I tend to keep a lot of events up. Which I know gets on Pinback's nerves. He's like, fix it! Fix it! And I'm like, oh, but my rose, I can get it. For your no cannibal run, did you lose any crew members? I will do. Actually, I want to go for another three. Give me a three. I 
Welcome mode. Yeah, plenty of people here now. It's a freaking party. These are actually all my regulars. Coming to watch me fail to get to Mars. Oh, and I should have kept that four. Why didn't I keep the four? Ugh. This is fine, though. Uh, let's see. Mm, I can't get to the five and six without wasting everything. Everyone lived? Oh, that's, that's what I want. That's what I want. I want to get to Mars. Everyone alive. No one eating man meat. That'd be amazing. Give me a four. Give me a four. Okay, I might actually... Alright, with this, I am going to use plus one ship. Nope, that, that works here. That works here. <laughs> this... Yeah, right? It's like... This is the top Tharsis stream on Twitch right now. It's amazing. Actually, it's kind of... Kind of interesting. There's not a lot of people that stream this. I'm enjoying it quite a bit, though. Hmm. How lucky do I think I am? How lucky do I think I am? We'll just... Uh, I think I'm very lucky. Give me a six! Son of a bitch, I'm not lucky. That's fine. That's fine. Alright, I'll just repair this unit a little bit. This isn't too bad. Because we have plenty of food. We have... No, we have one food. We don't have plenty of food. Why did I think we have plenty of food? That's weird. Allison, really? Oh yeah, I guess you got... Not a lot of people like it? What? Ah, oh, but this game is so... I don't know. There's a lot that I like about this game. It kind of keeps the pressure up. Like, all the damn time. I do know there's a bit of a RNG focus on it. Just a bit, though. Space Yassi. Right, Rise? Ah. Oh. I would definitely take me some space yachts here. Let's see, plus one to ship would be kind of great. Yeah, now I'm pinned back, like, reading a lot of the early reviews, a lot of people, I don't know, I feel like they just don't understand maximizing your chances, that's what this is all about, giving yourself the best chance to row the best, or at least that's how I'm taking it. And also, I feel like a lot of people are really bad at decision making. And this game is not kind to such people. Then again, I'm on a seven loss streak. Maybe I'm pretty terrible at it too. I'd believe it. All right, I'm gonna get plus one to ship. Like I'm probably gonna waste the assists in this room. So that's not that bad in that module. Okay. I think we're doing pretty well on dice. So I'm gonna kind of uh, raise the average quite a bit, giving Kayla some dice. This is really doable. I think Allison can get us some food this round. So this is pretty bad. This is pretty bad. I can use the repair arm. I can use the special tools to fix one of these units easily. The question is, which unit do I want to go into? Normally, I would send everyone into the maintenance bay. If everyone is in the maintenance bay, we can keep the ship alive and everything would be awesome. However, the maintenance bay currently has a freaking injury hazard and a void hazard. <laughs> I might fix a few things, Pinback. Rares, you've uh, tried out, is it the psychologist that gives plus two assist? It's like, oh man, I don't know. Okay, let me, let me get some stuff going. It's like, maybe I don't give enough credit to assist. Like, I feel like I'm always wasting it, probably because I have Allison always go first just to get food. She can go last, and that would be fine. It would, does, really doesn't make much of a difference. So, why am I dropping frames? That's weird. Is the stream acting weird for you guys? I'm going to actually lower my bitrate just a bit. I'm dropping a lot of frames, apparently. Like, really badly. Is this not going smoothly? Let me get this going over here. Yeah, 
Yeah, I raised my bit rate a bit. Technician, that's who it is. The psychologist, oh, of course, the psychologist reduces stress. That makes way more sense. Way more sense. Why am I dropping so many frames? All right, this is a this game doesn't need a super high bit rate. All right, I think we're getting back to being good. So, yeah, I don't understand why I'm dropping frames. I think it'll be better now. I think this will be better. Tell me if it uh, starts acting up again. Might have also just been like a freaking spike around here. Oh my god, I could be so unlucky here. Hmm. Let's see, I'm gonna have Jean come back here, he's gonna lose two health, but I still have three. He's gonna roll five dice. But I feel pretty good. Oh my god, he can lose so many dice to the void. This will be fine. Is it still dropping frames? I think it stopped dropping frames. Alright, I lost the dice to the void, but you know what? We can fix this. We can fix this unit and we'll be fantastic. I will go for that. Yep, I'm going to use all my dice to fix this unit. I think that is the most important thing. Yeah, I noticed that I was streaming at an absurdly low bitrate. I have not played The Witness. I am interested in playing The Witness. That seems like a game that I really need to dedicate myself to. I think that that would do really good for like a Saturday stream, when I have a lot of time to play it these nightly streams that I do tend to be like, oh, I have an hour or two. I guess an hour or two is actually really good for gaming. Alright, we're doing great here. I really like what I just did there. Nice. Alright, thanks for telling me that it got better. Yeah, I tried increasing my bitrate. Apparently that was not the way. But yeah, I am super interested in playing The Witness. I should have given him one more dice before I started rolling. This is fine though, because in the end, I can still use this repair arm to give myself plus three ship. I could also go maybe repair some damage, fix some events. Pinback would love that. But for now, let's get lucky. Eh, that could have been great. Man, I could have done this way better. We're still fine though. We are still fine. Eh, it doesn't hurt to throw something in here. I shouldn't have used the six, I should have used the three. Oh well. Okay, yeah, I'm just gonna leave that there. That's good. That's good that you can't see anything. Uh, let's see. Because if you could see the mistakes that I just made, oh man, you would hate it. Alright, Allison, get us some food. These are not quite the numbers that I want. Ed, though, Ed says that I should hold on to a dice so that I can roll the same dice over and over again. One dice, more rows, give me more fives. Those are some fives. That's some food. I like it. This is pretty good. I'm also just going to go ahead and use this duct tape on this, just because I have a three that I can't use for anything else. Oh, I still need to make sure the ship doesn't die. That could be pretty important. Hmm, what's my best way to do this? I can just fix this unit. Yeah, I can easily fix this unit. Fix this unit and get repair arm. Bring it on, let's go. Alright, so this give me repair arm. I can use those two fours to fix this unit. And now we're doing... Uh, just because I wanted to... I just saved a five. That's pretty much all it was. Like Ed, Lucid Toxin in the chat is much better at... Math and percentage... Er, math and chance and just like rolls of dice and stuff to me. And he says man I forget about that minus one health. We're still doing fine though. He says that holding one dice makes it more likely that you'll roll that dice again. I'd believe him. I don't feel like actually doing the calculation myself or looking it up. So I pretty much just chose a random number there. 
I think it, I wanted to choose five just in case I did roll another five. It'd be nice to use both fives to get food rather than have both fives to waste in the research. Let's see. All right. I can straight up get plus two assists. That would be pretty good. This will kill people. And minus 20% stress could be decent, but I will go for the assist. It is very convincing. I believe it all the time. I trust... Maybe I trust it too much. Hmm. I hadn't thought about that. New events. That assist fail is awesome. Never fixing that. That flight control to damage is pretty decent. I might fix that. One of six chance rolling a die, rolling a number on one die. Yeah, yeah, that's that's that. But like, if I have four dice and I want to make, uh, I don't know. There's numbers out there. There's some math that can happen that I'm not super clear on. Okay, the doctor is gonna come in here. She's gonna give plus one to health. She's gonna roll, she's definitely gonna roll at least one five, or six. There's my six, so that's plus the health. And now, we can start repairing some units. Well, repairing the ship. Yeah, that's a pretty good repair. I could definitely use some more math. I used to be pretty damn good at math. Not to say I lost it, but uh, I just tend to leave things to calculators these days. Calculators are good old goo -go. Now, next up, we're not gonna die, and I can easily get the ship above kill range. In fact, if I don't repair anything, you'll love this pin back, I'll only get one new event. <laughs> oh, that could be great. So I had a run yesterday where repairing stuff just I had a fan I had a fantastic event spread. And then I got so greedy. I got so damn greedy. Are those threes? Oh, those are two numbers that I definitely don't want. Oh we've got assist. That's fine. Alright. This is a huge waste of assists. But there's two fives. Alright, but yeah, I had an amazing run going yesterday. I was on my way to Mars. All the events were just... I had four total damage. I was only taking four damage per round. It was so sustainable. And then I thought, you know what? Minus one dice per round. That's not the best thing. Maybe I can get better. I didn't. It got worse. It got so much worse. Oh, man. I'll go and have the mechanic go next. But yeah, it was amazing how out of control it got. Go ahead, do one of these. Do another of that. Ship is out of danger. We are closer to being fantastic. All of these numbers are numbers I already have. So let's roll. Bring it on. Bring it all on. Alright. What? You laughing at me rolling dice, Lou? Ah, what? Okay, I think I don't really need any of these events, so I'm going to go ahead and refresh. And I'm going to do another refresh. Uh, actually, plus one health to all crew could be pretty nice. I think I'll do that. And then we'll save these two dice. Now! <laughs> Jean! Jean... What, Lou? Why are you laughing? What, because of how into Jean I'm going to get in? Look, he's going to do so much for us right now. You can watch over here. You can also watch in your in your room. <laughs> what? Alright. I will do one more row. Let's go. This is great. This could be better, but this is fine. Alright, let's just go ahead and shuffle. 
this is what I want to see. I want to get up to that minus that 17 repair. That could be nice. And we'll save this. This guy gets thrown away, but that's fine. We're doing excellently. You know, I went back and watched my second win ever. And there's this, t this turn halfway through my uh, run. Like 50 minutes into the run. Where I'm at one health and the ship is taking 10 points of damage. Pancake Bunny. Pancake Bunny is cheering me on. That's what he's thinking. He's like, <laughs> I'm just on my little treadmill here. We're going to Mars. You know, it didn't work out the last seven times, but he believes this time. And he always believes. Just look at that look in his eyes. It's, it's so good. So let's see. Plus one food, minus two dice for these two. That could be kind of decent. Minus 30% stress for me. I don't really care about her being stressed. I don't want to lose health because I don't, I'm not confident that I'll get that health back. I could get pretty unlucky with what event shows up here. So I'm not going to worry about that. Plus one food, minus two dice. That would put me at two food. I think I can handle this. Because I probably give... I'm going to give one dice to Allison so that she can get more food. And one dice to Jean. So that he can keep filling up our dice. Okay. This is it. This is pretty much the exact same situation that I had uh, on my second win. One health to the ship. And how, how much health can this thing actually have? Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, it can have eight. Eight damage. And oh, the state of things after that turn, it was amazing. I was like, this looks like it's unwinnable. But no, we we got this. So let's do it. Alice and Rose. She's going to roll here. She's going to get the 17 repair. Actually, I'm, I probably did this wrong. I already failed this. Oh, she could even get food. She could get so much food right now. How greedy am I? I am so greedy. Mm hmm. This is it. This is the run. But yeah, the, the picture, the little meme for that picture has been Pancake Bunny. I'm pretty sure it's a bunny rabbit. His name's Oolong, I believe. What live? You don't like Oolong? Hmm. So we still have enough assist, so this shouldn't kill me. This is totally winnable, Pinback. Get your Kappa out of here. <laughs> Captain goes first. He rose really well. That's not terrible. That's not terrible. I don't like those stasis. He gives plus... I should have had Kayla go first. Oh, man. Okay. This is why I can't go on the Mars mission. Because I keep doing stuff like this. Alright. He is going to give Pakal a dice. I almost call it Pakal Pinback. Which kind of makes sense, because you want to repair everything, right? You want me to repair everything. And let's see what we can do with these two dice. Don't give me a four. That's a four. Ah, that sucks. Okay, all of these are now going into research projects. I can get pretty close. What I really want to see is a plus three to ship and to repair this unit. So let's go. Oh, get down there. At this point, it doesn't matter if Bacall or the doctor goes first. I think I'll have the doctor go first just so that she can give us some health. Oh man, don't roll two fours. That would be terrible. That would be terrible. <sighs> Mechanic goes first. This is winnable. 
Don't roll two fours. Just don't do it. Great. You're fantastic. Oh. Sorry, Pinback. I definitely can't get into the witness tonight. Even if you gave me a million dollars. Eh, eh, eh. No, I don't, don't. I can't. Oh, that was a waste. Was that a waste? Uh, it could have been better. We might be dead. We might be dead. Yeah, I definitely messed that up, Rise. I should have had the doctor go first. She would have had one more dice to kick ass. Next turn, which I'm not even going to get to the next turn, most likely. But yeah, you know what? The Witness actually would be a pretty fun game to play on stream. Like, I was thinking about playing that off stream, but no. That actually would make for a good Saturday game. So here is the trick. I'm going to go for all the Hail Marys. Shuffle. Okay, plus three health. That doesn't do anything for me. Shuffle. Alright. Nope. All of these suck. Shuffle plus one ship. That could be decent. Oh, I would take a million from all the gambling, right? That's how you got all those millions? I'm pretty sure I've already lost. Plus one to ship. What do we got next? Nothing good. Go ahead and shuffle me. Even if I get plus three, that would suck. I still need to repair two damage, so I need two of the same dice. <sighs> this would have to go perfectly for me to let it lose. This is not going perfectly. This is going very much not perfect. How close can I get? Not close enough. Not close enough at all. This could have gone better. This could have gone a lot better. This could have gone so much better. Okay, so you know what? This just means we can get to Mars on an O'Cannibalism run, a successful run sooner, because we've already failed this run. I just want to get used to how often certain research projects appear. That wouldn't have helped. That could have helped. That could have helped. I don't know what these colors on the research projects means. Okay, it just corresponds to the event type. Well, that was a good run. Only Allison died alone, right? Pinback, I've actually been streaming a uh, Darkest Dungeon lately. That's pretty fun. Speaking of which, do I actually have the right... Yeah, I still like that title. No Cannibalism, No Mars. Yeah, I've been streaming a Darkest Dungeon lately. That's been going well. Oh, that's a terrible score. Let's go. So you think plus two assist is pretty good. It's like, I don't know who to give up for plus two assist, because everyone's so useful. Okay, we're going to, with the core team. One more time. Let's go. I am prepared. But yeah, I've been playing Darkest Dungeon. That game's interesting. It has, I don't know, it has a really dour mood to it. So it can be a bit depressing to play. Just a bit, though. Like this game, I guess this game isn't like the brightest game to play. But, uh, it does alright. I think we're going to crowd into the life support unit. Let's see, I have one food, one assist. One food, one assist. Allison will take damage. Yeah, this will be fine. Everyone crowd in. Let's get comfortable. Let me think about this. Allison goes first. Allison goes last. Doctor or mechanic. Like, I really... The mechanic has saved me so many times. But yeah, I can see giving up the doctor. It's pretty often that... Oh, that is so much food. Look at all of this food. Oh, 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 we're full. We're full. Whew. 
If the doctor isn't in a room with someone, she kind of becomes useless. I think we might crowd into here. Actually, no. Allison gets two dice. Kayla gets two dice. Sure, I'll get it after my run. And Jean heals us up. Actually, you know what? I'm just going to repair... No, I don't, I'm not going to repair this event. This is a really good event. This event is not bad. Minus one health. Uh, that, that could be better. Okay, let's crowd into life support. Allison goes first. Actually, Allison shouldn't have gone first. The doctor goes second. The doctor is going to give us more health. Did I already screw this over? I might have already screwed this over. Okay. Jean doesn't leave that unit. This is fine. Doctor, you go here. You give yourself and Allison more health. Just like that. Perfect. Give me a four. Give me that four! Heck yeah. Jean, you go in here. Stop freaking out, Jean. Nothing's going wrong. And you're going to help. Not do much. You're going to get plus one dice and research projects. We're good. We're good. That damage, that's, that's nothing. Don't mind the explosions. I'm not gonna die. I'm gonna be awesome. Alright, let's see. Plus one health to all would be fantastic because I have plenty of food to heal their dice back up. I have three food. I'm gonna use it on Allison, Kayla, and Jean. This is great. This is exactly what I want. Jean, Allison, Kayla. What do we got? Sis fail is fantastic. Minus one health to all. Can be mitigated. Question is, what do I want to do about this 15? Here's what we're going to do. Allison's going to go first. She's going to roll up in here. We're going to get some food going. <laughs> Excuse me. This is fine. She's going to roll a little bit more. See if we can get some more food. Give me that food. Give me that food. That's not food. Is this food? Is this food? Roll! Yeah! That's fantastic. All right. I'm going to reroll these because I don't want these events. What I am looking for is the MCC override. Like that. That will allow me to repair this unit without taking injury damage. Which will keep the ship from dying. So what is my best way to do this? Uh, she's already in here, so she's doing fine. I think I'm going to have the captain stay in here, get the research projects projects going, try to give each of these people mo one more dice. And hell, maybe I'll start repairing this unit. That could be nice. Da, 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 da. This is what I want. Yoink. 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 This is great. Oh, I had a dice up there? I missed that dice. Sure, why not? This is it. This is the run. No cannibalism. All Mars. Let's go. Okay, this is dangerous. Ooh, he can't even do that. Okay, I guess the doctor's healing this unit. Okay, so the reason McCall can't go here is because he's going to take two health of damage, take a walk through this unit, and leave this unit. So he might not be going anywhere. That kind of sucks. Kayla, on the other hand, she can fix this. And she can start fixing the ship. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. We are going to use the sixes here. Give me another six. Let me see that six. That's not a six. This is fine, though. I think I might... I wish I could look at the ship. I don't... I'm not gonna... I'm not gonna be greedy. Oh, because she can give herself one health. Yeah, I don't need to be that greedy. I don't need to be that greedy at all. Now, the question is, what should the mechanic do? 
where? Wait? What do you got, Ed? What are we doing? Are you telling me to wait? Hmm. Doctor up to the front, mechanic can move to the back for free. See, I feel like... I don't know, I don't trust this unit enough. Also, I would have had to roll dice in there, and she wouldn't have been able to use any of her spare dice on the research projects. And I like using the spare dice on the research projects quite a bit. 20 seconds, might be a 30 second delay. Could be a 30 second delay. Okay, how do I want to do this? How do I want to do this? Let's see. Also, I want to try out this thing again. Sorry, just a sec. Just got to check this out. He can do a rope. Let's do that. What do we got? Okay. He can get plus one to the ship. That would be amazing. He has a three. He has a two. That fills out the research projects. So I might as well start rolling a little bit. I think I will go ahead and use the special tools by using this three here. Alright. Five goes in here. Three goes over here. We use the special tools just because I want to keep rolling these things up. Plus one health to all crew would be fantastic. Let's go ahead and throw a three down here. Use this here and save both of these. This is going great. What do we got? What's next? Bring it on. Bring it on. Three new events. Two of them should be green. One of them will be red. But I think that won't be that bad. I think that won't be that bad. Man, apparently Europe could find the hell out of me. Let's see. We have two food. We have so much food. I think we have plenty of ship to go around, so I'll go ahead and get some assists. Because I am curious about... Oh, I'm going to be so greedy. We're not eating a damn thing. Let's go. There's a little fire going around. Just a little bit, though. Alright, we're going to lose a lot of health. We're going to lose a lot of health. Allison, take us home. Allison is going to fill these research projects up. Maybe get us some food. I don't really need food. But we'll see how this goes. Yeah, I don't need food. Allison is not going to worry about food. She's going to worry about research projects. We have already filled up on research projects. I could have done this a little better. That's fine, though. Give me a one. Or two. In fact, let me save this too. Give me a one. That's fine. That's fine. Okay. Refresh. Plus three to ship. Doesn't matter right now because we are getting pretty low on health. Refresh. 28. That's exactly what I want. 28 repair. I'll save this over here. We'll be fine. Okay, so I'm going to use the 28 repair on this unit. This unit is kind of scary because it's minus two health. I still need to give everyone a little bit more health. Can she run here? She could. She could give everyone in this unit one more health, including herself. And that would put us out of dying range. But I actually think what I want to do... Oh, it's rolling here a little bit more. Just a little bit more. Is he already? No, he's not in this already. Alright. Jean goes next. He's going to roll a 1. I really wish I hadn't wasted that assist. He's going... Ugh, why'd I put this 4 over here? I need to stop doing that. Alright, plus 1 dice. These all get wasted. I could use the 28 repair here. But I don't think I will. No, I won't. I will not. This is fine. This is safe. This is so safe. This is actually really bad. But you know what? We can survive. 
We can win this. Repaired. Let's rope. Let's think. So I think I want to give him the hemorrhage. Anti-hemorrhage. Hemorrhagic. That will allow him to not die as the ship. I'll only be able to repair one more event. So yes, he needs the anti-hemorrhagic. So I need to save three numbers. It's really likely that I will row different numbers here. It's really likely that I'll row different numbers. Give me different numbers. Come on, bring it, bring it, not a four. All right, that's pretty good. This is pretty damn good. I can even give no movement damage to Kayla. This is fantastic. One, three, six. No, one, three, four. <laughs> yep, that could've been bad. You get this. You get that. We're not taking movement damage. Could have been nice if I used that one turn ago, but you know what? This is fine too. Now the question is, does Kayla go to the life support unit where she might take some injury damage? Or does she go to... I think I bring her to this unit. The reason I bring her here... Actually, are we dying? Yeah, we are. We're still dying. I bring her here just in case if she cannot repair this unit, she could at least give everyone in here one more blip of health. That'll keep us alive one more turn. I'm gonna use this four here. Actually, uh, yeah, I'm up to 12. I'm greedy as hell, so I'm gonna use that there. I'm gonna use this here, and we might as well roll again. Yep, that's fine. Okay, so we're not dying. We aren't dying. No one is at two health. And we're only taking two health worth of damage. So this is fine. The next turn might be a little bit rough. Just a little bit, though. Just a little bit. We'll see what the events are in the next turn. Or in between turns. We might get quite a bit of stress. Ah, oh, we are getting so much stress. Actually, this would be fantastic. Minus 50% stress would almost guarantee that I get some really good events after the next turn. I don't really need plus one assist. Uh, just because I feel like I'm going to be relying on research projects a lot more. So let's see. Kayla eats a dice. Well, eats a food that's shaped like dice. I don't know if you want to eat that. This freaking, what, like military grade. Uh, okay. This is fine. This is fine. This. We should leave this room so that we don't die. So I'm going to have the mechanic roll in here. Let's see. I still need to repair a lot of damage. Allison goes first. She goes first. She fills up the research projects. I don't think I need to get food. I'm not worried about food. Man, that's a lot of ones. That is so many ones. Oh my god. I'm gonna save five. We're gonna hope that one is anything but a one. Are you kidding me? Ugh. How? How do we get so many ones? Double snake eyes? Who does that? Let's see. Plus one die to all crew. I can't use that. I can do minus 10% stress. Don't need that. Let's go ahead and shuffle. Plus three to ship. Could be nice. I'm more worried about... Ah, this is fine. Oh, yeah, we get a lot of food, I guess. Whatever. Oh, we have so much food. Food is like the last thing that I care about right now. At least that means... This means that this minus one dice doesn't do anything for us. Or doesn't hurt us. Okay. Mechanic comes in here. He is going to... What's the mechanic gonna do? He's coming in here so that the doctor can go next and she can heal us up. He's going to get three more dice that are different numbers, hopefully. One, two. That's two different numbers. That is not three different numbers. This is close, though. This is close. I need this five to be a four. Can I do it? Or I could do this. I can do this. I will do this instead. That would have been a really bad idea. 
We have plus one to ship. We're gonna get plus three to ship next round. I can leave that one dice because I don't need it. Kayla, it's all on you to save the day. And look at this, we're not gonna get any new events next round because I didn't fix a damn thing. Pinback would hate the state of the ship, but this, this is actually a fantastic state for the ship. I am only taking three points of damage. We have so much dice and food to go around. We're not even losing food each round. I think this is the run. The only thing we have to do is make sure that we can mitigate two points of health damage every turn. That's assuming I'm not a greedy bastard. Actually, this is really bad. I use this right now. Why didn't I use this? Oh, I could have used that one dice. Okay, Kayla needs to roll a five and four different numbers so that she can use this to repair this unit. Nope, that's impossible. She can't use this to repair this unit and give someone, everyone more dice. Okay, so we have 10, 15, 10, 15, 17, 15, I need these numbers to be, so what is this, this is actually 15, I need these to be either a 3 or a 4. That's excellent! That's exactly what I want! Okay, 15. 15... This is perfect. This is perfect. This is called winning. So what do we get? Uh, 20... So 25 minus 5 is still 20, so I'm gonna use this 5 over here. And we are going to use these numbers. Is there a better way I can do this? Is there a way that I can save even one more die? Do I have... I don't have 3 dice that are 6... So I can't get 18 and 3 dice. Can I get 18 and 4 dice? Yes, I can. Okay, fine, whatever. We will do this. Let me just go ahead and make sure I don't mess this up. 4, 5, 5, 5, 6. We're alive. Oh. Who hasn't gone? Jean hasn't gone. I forget about Jean. Jean can do even more. What should Jean do? Jean could... I think I'm gonna leave Jean in here. Is everyone inside this room right now? That sucks. This is, It's really bad to have everyone in one room. I could be doing so much more what with my dice. Yeah, okay. Jean is going to give us some more research projects. He might also give everyone in this room one more dice. I really don't need to do that because I have four food. Like, we are doing stupidly good. But I will. I did this poorly. Okay. Six. <sighs> we are all alive. We are all alive. Everyone's alive. I don't need to use the six. Okay. This is great. This is perfect. I, next round, I might use, need to use this MCC override to repair whatever event occurs in this unit. We're doing good. No need to worry that so many people only have one health. It can't go that poorly. A transmission arrived. But from not from Earth. Earth. But from well, Mars. not from Earth, but from Mars. Oh my god, it's us. Minus one dice for all crew would be fan- Oh man, I want this plus health for all crew. Oh, that'd be so good. This is gonna be so good. Pakal gets this. Yeah, that plus one dice from the Captain Rars is so damn good. Like, it's just four more chances. Well, depending on how many people are in the room. That many more chances every turn. Dice are so damn important. I say that as I waste food. This is fine, though. This is fine. Kayla is going to go first. Normally I would have Jean go first, but there are two injury hazards in here. Oh, I would have him go first, but I am so... He is so close to dying, I don't even want to take the chance. I could also... Uh, yeah, okay, I'm not going to take the chance. 
This could also still go poorly for me. Three of my dice. Two of my dice. I actually this can't go that poorly. Let's just go. <laughs> Kayla! Come on! Okay, these are numbers that I can deal with. She can repair this. She can fix this unit. Yeah, it would have been nice if this unit wasn't minus two health. Or it didn't have these hazards in there. If it was minus two health and had the different hazards. If it had like stasis, oh, the captain would be going so hard right now. All right, we get to fix this. Let me make sure, yep, that works. We get to get plus one health to everyone in this unit, and we get to save this. Look at this, we're already alive. Mechanic, let's see. Mechanic goes first, he's going to repair the ship. I'm also, I want him to go first so that he loses one dice, so that the captain can give him more dice back. Give me a five or a six, five or a six. Those are not fives or sixes. Mm, yeah, give me a five or a six, five or a six. That is a six. That's perfect. We can also get a hell of a lot of food. I am full on food. That's how stupid this is. I should have used the five instead of the six. Okay, I need to do that better next time. I need to always check my high numbers for what makes the most sense. I need to look at research projects. Okay, I don't care about any of these, so I'm gonna roll this. These are fine. Oh, they're not fine. I'll probably re-roll them a few times. Jean goes next. I actually might have Allison go... F no, no, no. Everyone stays in here. We hunker down. Because we, instead of getting one or two events next turn, we're only going to get one. Because we're alive, damn it. We're alive. Five... And that's two three, so I'm going to throw two of these down here and hope that this thing rolls something that isn't a three. That's a six. That's fantastic. All right, we're doing great. Allison now gets to, I don't know, she's just gonna roll a lot of dice. If I get the research projects up to six, I'm gonna be super happy and then I'm gonna just start wasting everything, wasting away, really. Let's see, here's a two. Give me a four. I'll take a four. Mm, I'll, I'll keep this low number just in case. Give me a four. Give me a four. Give me a four. That's exactly what I want to see. And these two ones allow me to reroll this twice. Well, once. Twice. Once. Whatever. Reroll. What do we got? No movement. This could be good for the last turn. I'm nowhere near the last turn yet, so I will forego it. Plus three dice to one crew. That's not bad. I just wasted a two. That was terrible. Plus one food. Don't need that. Minus 10% stress all crew. That could be really nice. I think I will use this just to give myself better events. Prevent void is whatever. Let's just go ahead and... Yes, that's exactly what I want to see. We'll give her plus one dice. We'll get this five. Eight. Put this one here. This is great. This is fantastic. Uh, right now, Rars, I'm just uh, picking my crew. I'm probably going to go random once I can get a no cannibalism run in. But for right now, yeah, I'm just picking crew. I did try one run with random crew. It didn't really go well. I didn't know how to use the pilot. But it also, I, I got really unlucky. Like, straight up, I just got unlucky. Let's see, plus one to ship could be nice. I don't really need assist. Minus one dice for these two is fantastic because I have, I have food for days. You're full, you're full, and you're full. Easy, uh, but also kind of bad because of these injuries. So this injury is pretty bad, but you know I have a lot of assists. 
We cannot die. Give me a two, three, and a four. Two, three, four. Two, three, four. Four. Two. Give me a three. Give me a three. I want a three. Hey, Shiroku. Uh, welcome back, Shiroku. It's been like a while since the uh, Extra Life, right? We're playing Tharsis. Tharsis. Oh, yeah. I guess the pilot could go up front and give no movement damage to everyone else. That could be nice. Especially in this situation that I'm in right now where I'm like, we're all hunkered down. Oh, oh yeah, no, that makes sense. Yeah, the captain go up front on the last turn. But yeah, Shiroku, this is Tharsis. It's a wonderful game that I've been playing lately. It works kind of, the premise of the game is that you're trying to get to Mars. And uh, you're on a ship and everything's going crappy. And it kind of works like a board game. You have four crew members which represent actions that you can take. Each crew member rolls dice to represent how well they do in taking that action. And it's just really fun. I am really enjoying this guy. I'm surprised she didn't take any damage. I guess rolling a 1 is actually pretty hard. But yeah, no, this game is... There's a lot of chance here in this game. So yeah, this ship has 7 units on it. Each unit module has a... I'm gonna have Allison go next. Each module has a function and can have an event on it. This is fantastic. She fixes this unit. Oh, this is lovely. Lovely. We get one more food. And we're doing excellently. We are doing excellently. But yeah, so you pretty much kind of like hedge your bets on what to repair and what not to repair to keep your ship alive for 10 turns. You have 10 turns until you actually get to Mars. And then something really special happens on the last turn and things get bonkers. So like I'm going into this unit, I just used a special, they call them research projects, things that you can do with your extra dice to repair this unit without needing to waste dice on it, which is amazing. And now I'm going to try to get more of these amazing research projects going. I shouldn't have done that. I want a five, I want a six, I want a five or a six. Give me a five or a six. That is a five. That's exactly what I want. I'm going to reroad these because I need plus one to ship. This will be excellent. I'm going to use this now. And yeah, this game is pretty much all about like roll optimization. Like you want as many dice on each of your crew members as possible. You want your crew members, you want the events that come up to essentially be mitigatable. Like, I am doing so well this run. These events are like nothing. Like, this sys fail just means I can't use this module. In other words, I'm never gonna repair it. It's fantastic. Also, each crew member has a special ability. That's what this, uh, like this class ability over here. So this guy, he can repair the ship pretty much at whim. Every turn, he, he can place a dice that's five or six into this his uh, class ability and he repairs one point of damage to the ship. It's pretty great. And right now, this is the best that I could have done this round, so I don't even need to reroll these dice. But I can get greedy. I can get greedy. And I think you have to be greedy in this game. Because if you aren't being greedy, I think this game just... Maybe I lose because I'm greedy. As you can see in this, in the bottom of my uh, stream, I've kind of lost seven games in a row. Hmm. It's pretty hard. It's pretty hard. Board game cafe. That sounds pretty fun. Played a Thor of games or a test run. <laughs> Sharing one oxygen source. That's interesting. So, did that game involve, like, betraying other people to try to get more oxygen than them or anything like that? I know some of those games work out like that. Or was it everyone working as a team for that board game, Shiroku? We are alive. We are alive. Okay. Also, between each round, you have to make a choice. The choices usually have positive and negative impacts. 
uh, what kind of choices you get depending on the stress of your crew that's represented by this green bar which turns red if they're too damn stressed on the left of their name here so right now my events are pretty bad plus one ship minus one dice that's decent because I have a lot of food <laughs> He's getting greedy, so he wants plus two health. This actually would be excellent. But I'm still worried about the ship dying. I'm still very worried about the ship dying. <sighs> okay, I can fix this instantly, so that's fantastic. So you were trying to collect the most gold yourself? Nice. Everyone outside the submarine without oxygen dies. That sounds hilarious. I love games like that. It's like everyone's just kind of being like a jerk ass to each other, but you also have to help each other out a little bit. I also like games where, you know, like one person in the in the crew is going to betray everyone else and you don't know who it is, but you're all, you know, suffering against some external pressure. So you still all have to survive. Mm, I can roll better than this. But... I can roll better than this. Yep, this is what I want. I will use... One, two, three to give everyone more health. Yeah, I love games that pit you against some environmental obstacle and you have someone at your back with a knife that you have to worry about. Like one of my favorite games, favorite board games is uh, Battlestar Galactica. And uh, I'll be frank, I don't play that many board games, but some friends at work got me into more board games. Battlestar Galactica is... it's fantastic. It just creates such good moments. Everyone always thinks I'm a freaking Cylon for some reason. Do I seem like a Cylon? Like, come on. I'm never going to betray you. Why would I betray you? Come on. I might betray someone. Alright. Allison's going to give us some food. And hopefully fill up these research projects. Actually, I think I'm worried more about research projects right now than anything else. Because I still need one more point of... I still need the, sh the ship to be repaired. Let me think about this. I'm going to save these two ones. That's weird, but this is fine. I shouldn't have saved these two ones. Yeah, this is fine. Okay. So this guarantees that... Uh, I think I won't have her. Yeah, we did play in uh, Rob's basement. Uh, yeah, I used to play with... Rob, Fuss, more of the crew. Oh, that's exactly what I want. This is totally what I want. What is this? This is fine. Alright, this is perfect. Oh, this is such a good run. This is such a good run. I'm not even going to put that in here. But yeah, a few times I played with Rob and Fuss and Silly, and it was it was just really good times. Really enjoyable times. Do you believe I'm a Cylon, Ed? Do I look like a Cylon? No way. <laughs> Playing a game called Epidemic. Wait, a special edition that you can only play once? Like, if you play it once, it goes away? You actually put stickers on the board to destroy pieces when towed. Hot damn. Whoever made that board game is making a lot of money, apparently. <laughs> now, that's actually pretty excellent. I really like the idea of that. I really like the idea of that. $80? Sheesh. You know what? I think I was there that night, dude. I know, uh, oh, this is excellent. There were a few times that, like, Foss was kind of screwing us over by just looking at things a bit wrong. 
Man, look at how well I'm doing. We have so much health, we have so much ship damage, but $80? Sheesh. To complete a small section. Oh, how long did the would the game take? So the game would go for like five or six hours to get through a run, right, Shiroku? But $80? Oh, man. It scared me, Liv. <laughs> Plus one dice. Ah, they never finished. That seems like it works. This is an amazing run. This run is going so well. I'm pretty sure this is the run. Very sure this is the run. Yeah, eighty dollar board game they can only play through once. That's interesting. <laughs> I'm gonna be surprised if there are some people that are like, oh I'm gonna laminate the board so I can take these stickers off and then just set aside the pieces instead of destroy them. But I guess if you're playing a game like that, you're probably really into it anyway, so you, you wouldn't do that. Minus two to ship, I might do that, I might not. Plus one ship, plus 20% stress. We only have three more weeks to get to Mars, so I am kind of feeling like this is it. I don't mind having more stress. And also, Shiroku, this game has cannibalism in it. Uh, any crew member that dies, you can eat their body. They get split up into three pieces of good old man meat that give you two dice each, compared to regular food, which gives you three dice each. And this initial body is just from someone who dies in the story. So that's a fun element. That's why right now I'm doing a no cannibalism run. Because I... it's You get this for free, basically. So it's like, if you really want to, you can use this. But you know what? I think I could do it. This is... decent. So, okay. Here's another aspect of the game that I haven't explained yet, is that each room that has an event tends to have a hazard to go along with it, or a few hazards to go along with it. That's what these colored dice at the top are. In this case, it is purple. So purple means void. If I roll dice that contain these colors, I will take this damage, or I will lose these dice, sorry. If it was injury dice, orange, I would take that damage. But in this case, I lose the dice. It really sucks. It really sucks. Let's see how well I can do. I'd like to repair this unit. Oh, but I had assists. So assists can help you not get hit by a hazard. See, this game is so damn neat. Oh, I enjoy it so damn much. Alright. I can get greedy. I can use this. Eight. This is 12. This is perfect. We can give one dice here. We can use these eight here. And I can even give everyone plus one health. But you know what? I don't need to use this. No, I will use this. I will use this. Okay, let's do this. I will use this because we are doing fantastically. And pretty much everyone just gets to stay inside here. Roll some dice, chill back, have some snacks, maybe call home. That could be fantastic. So okay, here's where I can get even greedier. This suppression, no, I don't I, I don't I don't need to do it. I don't need to do it. Never mind. Never mind. This is fine. This is fantastic. My chances are so damn high right now that I don't need to worry about this at all. Okay, so Allison is going to roll up in here. She is going to see how close we can get to different research projects and also harvesting food. She is going to harvest a lot of food, so that's fantastic. And then we can reroll these two dice. Give me something that's not a three. That's a one. I'll take it. Man, this is going good. Let's see. So I just used these two crew members, so they're done. I'm going to use Kayla next. She will... No, actually, I'm going to use the mechanic next. No, I'm going to use Kayla next. She can... Her special ability is that she can give everyone in here plus one dice. 
No, yeah, Ed, this time we're going to call home. We're going to be like, Mom, guess what? I'm going to Disney World. I'm going to Mars is what we're going to say. Hey, there might be a Disney World on Mars. Maybe that's the first thing we'll establish when we get there. Because we're going to be so happy that we got there. So happy. I want these to be different numbers, please. Give me a six. And this is fine. I don't need to use these. Nope, I don't need to use these. This is such a good run. Like, I can be so greedy right now. And I will. Give me a five or a six. Perfect. Ship gets plus one. Give me a two. That's great. These are pretty low numbers in case I wanted to roll a bunch. So I think I'm just going to do that. It doesn't make any sense to reroll these dice. Alright, plus one health to one crew, plus one dice to one crew, seven repair could be useful, but I can do better than that. Plus one to ship, I will use that. <clears throat> Excuse me. Here's where I rolled dice, because I can fill up on these research projects real quick. Hmm, yeah, this is fine. I don't need to use this last dice. Alright, this run is going fantastic. Shiroku, you joined at a fantastic time. Because you get to see Mars. You will get to see Mars. Oh, we're going to Mars. Crap, I didn't disconnect this, did I? Nope. There's also a little story to this game. Pandemic Legacy. 60 minute playing time, assuming you don't sit there and debate. Oh yeah, yeah, like, those playtimes that they estimate on board games tend to be like, oh yeah, after you know the rules, and are really good at this game. The word is on the brink of disaster, and Pandemic Legacy, your disease-fighting team must fight, must keep four deadly diseases at bay for a whole year. Each month will bring new surprises, your actions in each game will have repercussions on the next. Will you let cities fall to the disease? Will your team be enough to keep the viruses at bay for a whole year? Craft a unique pandemic experience with Pandemic Legacy. Yeah, that sounds interesting. That sounds kind of fun. But, you eat through the game as you play it for $80? Hmm. Hmm. Plus two to ship, minus one dice to all. This would be amazing. This would be amazing. This basically means that I win. Plus one dice for me, plus one dice for me. Yep, no, this means that I win. Because I have so much food to go around. One of the tricks is that the last turn, you don't actually really need your dice. Because if you need your dice on the last turn, you have already lost. We're going to Mars! I don't need to fix this. In fact, everyone just needs to get their asses to that front unit, and I basically win. Let me think about this, though. Oh, wait, no, the last turn, I need to make sure... Okay, we're not going to Mars yet. The criteria for the last turn is that only crew members who are in the flight control unit will be able to make it to Mars, because this thing gets sent down. I still need to make sure the ship doesn't die. So there are a few decent rolls that I have to get. So I think I will try to repair this unit. So Allison is going to go first. She has a lot of health. She has a lot of dice. We are going to row. Void, that sucks. Oh wait, we have assist. That's fantastic. Okay. Now that we have some dice, uh, I want to get even closer. Oh, I want to get even closer. Plus one. To okay, this is what I want. MCC override. That will allow me to fix this unit right now. Because 17... Oh, that's actually 7. Okay, I can fix it right now. I can get greedy and fix this right now. I'm actually ungreedy. No! But we're doing it! We got this! I mean, I'm gonna get one more event next turn, but it can't be as bad as 2 damage, right? Nah, you can't move after rolling. I have already rolled myself right here. You know, the last turn you 
everyone has to get into the last unit and then they roll which actually kind of sucks because the last unit might have injuries in there I think you need you need to either roll or use a research project to be considered in that room which kind of sucks let me see do I want to fix this unit I'm pretty sure I do Oh yeah, no, no, this is not the last turn, thankfully. If this was the last turn, I would... I would be ecstatic if this was the last turn. But we actually need to get... I'm gonna heal this unit, so that the next people don't lose dice. Yeah, no, we have one more turn. And this will be fantastic. This is gonna be so good. In fact, I might as... Okay, depending on how much of the ship I repair... Let me see... I want Kayla to get... I don't need food. Dice on the next turn don't matter. Uh, they kind of matter in case I need research projects. <laughs> but what I really need are plus health to ship. I should have had Pekah go first. No, it actually doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. I want to do that so that we don't die moving into the next room on the next turn. I am going to use this and this to get plus to ship. And now I am looking for more plus to ship. Polygon writer on the subject in Pandemic. I'm nowhere near finished with the game. At best, I've got 20 more, 22 more games to go. 40 hours of playtime. Got enough people together at the table. Really know if it's as good. Could be broken. Or just not fun it past a certain point. 22 more games to go. So, I'm guessing then it like goes across multiple uh, sessions. So you have a limit to your $80. At least it's not $80 per game, right? According to that quote. Also, is this based off the same pandemic as the Flash game and now popular Steam game? Because if so, that's awesome. That was a fun game. I'm gonna have the mechanic go first. He's gonna repair the ship. Should he repair the ship? He will repair the ship. Then. He can do this, he can do that, he can do this, and we'll roll again to see if we get a three? That's kind of fantastic. Well, if they're really into the game, that actually sounds pretty damn good. Like, there's a lot of interesting board games out there. Uh, over the last few years that I've been in the game industry. I've met a lot of people who've gotten me to play more and more board games. And a lot of them, I wonder if people are more into the idea of like learning the mechanics and just being really friendly together or if they actually super duper like the game. Oh, we're getting food next round too. That's fantastic. Like, I, I know they like the game itself, right? Oh my god, we don't even need food. We're full on dice! This is the best! You're seeing it, Sh Shiroku. We're going to Mars. Oh my god, we're going to Mars. We didn't eat anybody. Oh, Pinback would be proud. Pinback's a viewer who's been watching me since I started playing this game. Oh, we are going to Mars. We are going to Mars. Mmm. 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 We've almost made it. No turning back. No, Mars. I'm sure everything will be fine once we get to Mars. No, like we're gonna get to Mars. We're gonna find another copy of ourselves. We're all gonna have a tea party. There's food there. Oxygen. Of course, there's oxygen on Mars. Like all these problems we're having, we'll have none of them on Mars. Minus. Don't need that. I could use this for plus one ship, and in fact, I definitely will. Plus one ship would be great because that will almost guarantee. We don't die. Gonna eat all the food. Allison gets it. And Pakal gets it. Pakal is... Bam! Minus one health to all. We've made it to Mars. This is... This is done. 
Oh, that is so good. This is so good. You don't know how good this is. This is amazing. Okay, Kayla's gonna go first. Uh, let me make sure I'm gonna lose two health. If Kayla moves in here... Okay, let me think about this. Kayla actually should go last. Let me think about this. I need to think really hard about this. No, Kayla goes first. She fixes this unit. Here we go, last turn. All the pressure in the world. I have... I have 18 dice that I can roll an average of two times each. Really, two and a quarter times. This is such good probability. I have one assist. Hopefully that will keep me from dying. Let's go ahead and use special tools. Let's see what comes up next. Plus one dice to all crew. That could be decent. Nope, it's already happened, dude. It's already happened. Right now, I would like to prevent injury. Uh, that, that's not that bad. One health to all crew, or one crew. 28 repair, could have been nice. Don't need to do this. Allison, I can get some good, I can get some good research going. Man, that could have been bad. That could have been really bad. Okay, we're not gonna risk anything else in here. Okay, I should have risked that. I should have risked that. Okay. Here's what's happening next. Did I mess this up? No. I mean, maybe. No. Maybe. I don't have any assists. Kayla just needs to not roll two fives. What are the chances that she'll roll two fives? Pretty damn good. Oh my god! Okay. <sighs> Holy, are you kidding me? Yeah, I know I needed three health to live. I really wanted to just fix this unit so that we could give some research. This is such a depressing end. Also, that's really depressing too, Rars. With double three injuries, three assists, row four threes. Yes, I know, right? These rows, man, these rows. At least Kayla made it. Go, Kayla, go. Oh my god, this was this oh my god, this was like the best run I had I've ever had. 
Here's what I should have done. I should have gone into the room with other people than Kayla. I should have used research projects. Ethical threshold. What the hell is happening? Is she like playing freaking foosball with the giant dice? Does that count as a win? Like I can I can turn off the loss streak, right? The lose streak. That counts as a win, right? Right? I didn't need all four people to go to Mars. That's just a bonus. I didn't need anybody, right? That's good. No one had I didn't need anybody. So this was a good run, right? I should have gone into the room with people that weren't Kayla, and then I should have used research projects so that they don't have to roll dice and potentially get injuries. And in using the research projects, we probably could have found anything. I like that, Ed. Half the soccer team is dead. It's still a win. That one counts as a W. Look at that. Here we go. Look at this. The W. If I can spell one. Oh, uh, zero point two five. Let's count it as this. Here we go. That's cool, right? It's a quarter of a win. That's more than zero. It broke the streak of losing. Right? Right? Yeah. Look, this 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 is a respectable score. Ed, I don't think we can reach their families from Mars. I think it's kind of done. It's like... Crew landed on Mars 1. Man, my score last time was even better than this. It was way better. Completing events gives you, a, gives you a lot of score. Maybe I should actually complete events. But see, I feel like if I was completing events, I would get nowhere near... Uh... Nowhere near as many dice as I had. You'd have to have some really easy events to complete them. Also, I haven't even tried playing with hard yet. There's a hard mode to this. <laughs> but you know what? Let me see. 12-15 was my score. That's pretty decent. That's pretty decent. You know what, Rars? You're right. <laughs> my goal is right there. Go. No cannibalism. Break the losing streak. We succeeded. We succeeded at that go. Next go. No cannibalism. Keep hope alive. There we go. Goes. Life goes. Yep, and I think I am done for the night. Thanks for joining me on two pretty funny runs. One of them was pretty much a win. I'm writing it down as a win in the books. You know what? No one has to know that only one person uh, survived that round. Let's call this a one. Look at that. I'm going to delete the archive, too, so no one will ever know. No. Anyways, yes, thanks for joining me. I'm going to go to sleep. It's 12.30 here. Got work in the morning, and things will be fun. So y'all, have a good night.